They're working new details now on an eyewitness news alert. A new study finds that annual dental x-rays could significantly increase your risk of developing brain tumors. Today, we spoke with the head of the Rhode Island Dental Association for her thoughts on the alarming findings. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with more local coverage. The results of this study may seem alarming. We went to a local expert who tells us more research is still needed to prove the connection. Dental work can be daunting, and now patients could face a new risk at the dentist office. According to a new study in the journal Cancer, the radiation from frequent dental x-rays may be linked to non-cancerous brain tumors called meningiomas. When we look at these studies, it needs to be a longitudinal study where they've looked at it over years. The study examined 3,000 patients. Researchers found those who got bite wing x-rays at least once a year or more had a 40 to 90 percent greater risk of a brain tumor. Dr. Barbara Cavicchio is the president of the Rhode Island Dental Association. She says these results are based on higher radiation levels than patients are exposed to today. The study is on older people and so these meningiomas are um, uh, what, you know, the days with dental x-rays were a lot more radiation exposure than they are now. While dental x-rays are often necessary, researchers say these findings suggest moderate use of x-rays for patients with generally healthy teeth. Kavikio agrees, but says in some cases x-rays are crucial to treatment. You know, I think your dentist is probably the best person to answer that because they're going to be able to know what's going on in your mouth and what should and shouldn't be done or what is and isn't necessary. The American Dental Association recommends healthy adults get dental x-rays once every two to three years and children once every one or two years. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.